Okay, uh, good afternoon everybody. Okay, uh, magandang araw sa ating lahat. Okay. Last presentation, I've already discussed about the meaning of security, security management, and major areas, and three line of physical defense, and perimeter barrier. Okay. Next topic will be the perimeter barrier opening. Okay. Number one, gate and doors. When not in use and controlled by guards, gates and doors in the perimeter should be locked and frequently inspected by guards. Lock should be changed from time to time and should be covered under protective locks and key control. Okay. Yung gates and doors natin. Halimbawa, pag wala tayo, wala tayo sa mga bahay, sa mga bahay, bahay nyo, bahay ng, bahay nyo, or kahit na anong, or mga locker nyo, gawa mga gates nyo, dapat nakalak yung mga yan. Then, dapat, wag na wag yung ibibigay na kahit kanino yung susi. Iwat sa inyo lang. Huwag niyong ibibigay kahit na kanino lang. Okay, next. Sidewalk elevators. This provide access to areas within the perimeter barrier should be locked and guarded. Okay. Yung sidewalk elevators naman, yun yung, yung gilid, uh, elevator siya na naglalakad sa gilid-gilid ng uh, area or perimeter. Ito yung Ginagamit lang itong sidewalk elevator pag maluwang yung area. Halimbawa, sa village. Yan. Pag sa village, maluwang-luwang yon ito yung ginagamit nila. Pero dito sa Pilipinas, I think, wala pa. Or hindi pa ako nakakita. Okay. Utilities opening. Sewers, air, air intakes, exhaust tunnels, and other utility opening which penetrate the barrier and which have cross-sectional areas of 96 square inches or more should be project protected by bars, grills, water-filtered traps, or other structural means providing equi equivalent protection to the portion of the perimeter barrier. Okay. Kahit tayo mga drainage, yung mga malalaking drainage, yan, kailangan din lagyan siya ng Uh, barrier siya para hindi pasokan o pasukin ng mga intruders Gaw minsan kasi ang mga intruders pasok sa mga back doors sa mga yan okay. next clear zones an Unob uh, obstruct obstructed area or a clear zone should be maintained on both sides of the perimeter barrier a clean zone of 20 feet or more is desirable between barriers and in exterior structure and natural covers that may provide concealment for assistance of the person seeking an authorized entry. Okay. Halimbawa may... Okay. Halimbawa ito yung bahay nyo. Halimbawa ito yung... Ninyo lupain. Yan, itong box. Nakikita namin siguro. Okay. Dito sa gitna yung inyong bahay. Then, ito yung sinasabi niya 20 feet. Yan, 20 feet. And 20 feet. Yan. Dito sa mga both sides is may 20 feet. Yun yung sinasabi niya clear zone. Pag umapot na siya ng 20 feet, uh, considered as already are clean zone. Balalo pag wala ng Uh, ilalagay dyan sa gilid-gilid pag wala nang ilalagay dyan sa gilid-gilid yun yung nasabi na ng clear zone okay next additional protective measures top guard additional overhang of barbed wire placed on vertical perimeter fences facing upward and outward width okay with a 45 degree angle angle With three to four strands of barbed wire spaces, spaces inch up, six inch apart, this increase the protective height and 
prevents ECA access. Okay. Na itong top guard na to ay nabanggit ko no last meeting or last discussion. Next guard control station is normally provided at maintain perimeter entrance to secure areas located out of doors and manned by guards on full time basis. Sentry station should be near a perimeter of surveillance at the entrance. Okay. Na gaya dito sa school. Dito sa entrance pa lang, meron na tayong gwardiya. Para dito natatakot na yung mga intruders na pasukin ang ating area. Okay? Dapat meron talaga sila sa mga entrance. Hindi lang sa exit, dapat lang sa entrance. Okay? Then dapat palagi silang meron. Present at all times. Then, next. Tower guard. Is a house-like structure about the perimeter barriers, the height to the tower, the more visibility is provides it physiological answering effect to violators. Okay. Bawa itong bahay nyo. Bawa itong bahay nyo. Dapa, uh, ang sasabi niya, ang tower guard is, andito siya, bawa ito bahay, ito yung bahay, Then ito yung uh, kanyang perimeter. Then andito, andito yung gate, halimbawa andito yung gate. Then meron siyang tower din. Tower na mas mataas sa bahay para makikita niya dito, dito. Bawat sulok ng kanyang area ay makanya nang makikita dun sa tower guard. Okay? And then sa tower guard meron ding Uh, equip din equip din siya ng two-way radio. Kasi minsan ang tower guard is mas ma- malayo sa mismong uh, guard house, mas malayo siya. And then mataas pa siya. Okay, kaya naglalagay dito ng uh, two-way radio para makapagbigay ng information sa guard house if ever. Okay, next, barrier maintenance. Fencing barriers and protective walls should be always regularly inspected by guard security. Any sign of attempts to break in should be reported for investigation. Limbawa, ako, gwardiya ako, at may sa area na, pinu- na nililipot ko, may nakita akong nasira, nasira ang uh, pad- barrier, nasira yung kanyang barrier. So, investigahan yun. I-re-report ko agad. Para hindi ako, uh, para maging safe yung area ko. Okay, next. Protection in depth. In large open areas or ground where fencing or walling is impractical and expensive, warning signs should be consistently placed. The depth, is, the depth itself is protection reduction of access road. And Sufficient notice to warn intruders should be done. Use animals as guard and in- intrusion device can also be good as body. Sign and notices. Sign, control sign should be erected where necessary in the management of unauthorized ingress to preclude incidental entry. Sign should be plainly visible and legible from any approach and understood language or dialect. Okay. Halimbawa, uh, beware of dogs. Yun yung sinasabi na lang para matakot na yung intruders. Okay, next. 